Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Brian Bites writes in asking about pattern chaining and if you can use it to queue up songs. I set up some patterns, and I just want to show you an important thing is it does remember them between power cycles. So good to know. Um, the important part here is once we get booted up, if uh, you have to go to pattern, so hit pattern select to get into pattern mode. And if you hold down hold, you've got 16 banks for these uh, different chains. So I've got one chain here. And if I want to play it, I just hit subhead. And it's going to play. I have it set to use the bank BPM. So it's going to use the BPM that's in the bank. You could go for a project if you want everything to be at the same bank BPM. And I'll show you that in a second. But I've got this little drum and bass thing. If I hold hold down now, I can hit two. And it's going to switch over to this other pattern chain that I've set up. And just keep playing. And as I said, it'll because I'm in the bank BPM mode, if I hold down hold and hit three, when it switches over, it's now going to change BPM. You can hear this is a different BPM. When you switch back, it'll go back to whatever the speed is for the patterns that you've got loaded. And important thing to know is while it's playing, you can delete things that are the patterns that aren't playing it playing from the chain if you want to switch things up. So you can actually change it in real time. And you can hear this is just changed BPM. So it's again, it's pulling the BPM from the bank. So you can mix BPMs in a pattern chain if you're not paying attention, but you can kind of remix these. What I want to show is you can kind of remix these things live while they're playing and come in and just modify the ones that aren't playing, which can be super powerful and handy if you want to kind of do things on the fly and change up what different parts of the song are playing. Now I'm going to exit out. And the other thing I wanted to show you is if you want to have the BPM set by bank, you want to hold shift pad 11. You can see here, it's got the bank highlighted. And if I go through the different banks, you can see I have all these different BPMs. If I use uh, control knob one, I can go to project and just set whatever I want the everything to run at. So now if I come back in, everything's gonna be running at BPM 90. So again, go to pattern mode, hold down hold, open up the pattern or the hold down hold and hit the pad for the pattern chain that you wanna load and just hit subhead to start. Now you can hear this is running at 90 BPM. And when I switch to anything else, it's all going to be running at 90 BPM, if that's what you want. Anyway, uh, Brian, I hope this helps you out. Gives you some uh, ideas and things to think about. And yeah, everybody, if you get questions, feel free to shoot them in, drop them in the comments. Uh, trying to keep an eye on things as much as I can, get to them every uh, week or two. Anyway, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.